Ready to dive into the world of data storage. Today we're tackling two heavy hitters, LVM and ZFS. It's a showdown in the storage arena. We're going beyond the acronyms to figure out which one comes out on top for your needs. Sounds like a plan. So LVM, Logical Volume Manager. It's like taking a bunch of hard drives and, uh, well, imagine them like separate containers. Right, each one holding your precious data. Exactly. And LVM swoops in and says, I'll take those containers and make one big flexible pool. It's all about that abstraction. You don't have to micromanage each drive. LVM gives you this nice unified view, kind of like uh, those adjustable dividers you use to organize a tool drawer. Oh, I get it. So instead of seeing all those little compartments, it's just one smooth space you can adjust as needed. Exactly. And that's one of the best things about LVM flexibility. Need more storage? No problem. You can expand that logical volume on the fly. Even with the system running, that's handy. Yep. No need to shut everything down. It's a lifesaver when you need more space for those ever-growing music and photo collections. Speaking of lifesavers, what about snapshots? I hear those are pretty important in the LVM world. Absolutely. Think of a snapshot like a restore point in a video game. It's a point-in-time copy of your data. So if you make a mistake or delete something accidentally. Boom, you can roll back to the snapshot and it's like nothing ever happened. That's reassuring. But aren't there downsides? Like, can you have too many snapshots? Good point. They do have some overhead, so it's best to be strategic. Too many, and it's like having a million browser tabs open. Things can get sluggish. Right, makes sense. Now, this one always throws me off. Thin provisioning. It's like promising more storage than you actually have, right? Is that even allowed? You're not wrong. It's a bit of a gamble, hoping you won't actually use all the space you've allocated. But it can be a great way to squeeze the most out of your resources. So potential for efficiency, but with a bit of risk. Got it. Now, where does RAID fit into all of this with LVM? Ah, oh, RAID. That's like having a backup generator for your data. If one drive fails, you've got a copy on another. So it's all about redundancy. Exactly. But here's the thing. LVM itself doesn't have built-in RAID. You'd usually use it alongside a separate RAID solution. Okay, so an extra layer to think about. Good to know. All right, time to bring in the contender. ZFS stands for Zettabyte File System. That's a mouthful. And the name is no joke. ZFS is known for handling massive amounts of data, and keeping it safe and sound is its top priority. It's like the security guard of storage systems. Exactly. It uses checksumming to verify every single piece of data. Like, imagine a fingerprint for every single file. Wow, that's thorough. And if even a single bit is off, ZFS knows. And with features like RAID Z, its built-in RAID system, it can even often repair that data automatically. Okay, now that's impressive. But all this meticulousness, this attention to detail, I'm guessing it comes at a cost, right? It's got to be resource heavy. You're not wrong. ZFS can be a bit resource hungry, especially when it comes to RAM. It needs a good chunk of memory to run smoothly. So maybe not the best choice for systems running on a shoestring budget. Probably not the best fit there, no. But for those who can handle its appetite, what else does ZFS bring to the table? Well, one of the things people rave about is its efficiency. ZFS uses data compression and deduplication on the fly, constantly working to shrink your data and eliminate any unnecessary duplicates. So it's like having a built-in space saver, constantly working behind the scenes. You got it. Think yeah. about it. Potentially storing twice the data in the same space. That's right. the magic of ZFS. So it's like having a built-in space saver, constantly working behind the scenes. I can see the appeal in that, especially with how much data we're all storing these days. And speaking of efficiency, what about those ZFS snapshots. We talked about LVM's version, but how do they stack up? With ZFS, oh, they're in a whole different league. Think of it this way. An LVM snapshot is like a, a like a photograph, a single moment in time. ZFS. They're like branching timelines. Branching timelines. Okay, that sounds intense. Yeah, you can still go back to a previous state, obviously, but you can also create these whole new branches, experiment with your data, even merge changes back into the main timeline if you want. Whoa. So it's like version control for your entire storage pool. Pretty much, yeah. And then there are clones, which are slightly different. Different how? I thought those were basically the same as snapshots. Not quite. A snapshot, like we said, it's a point-in-time copy. Yeah. But a clone in ZFS, that's a writable copy of a snapshot. It's like uh, taking that picture and then being able to doodle all over it without messing up the original. Interesting. What would you use that for? tons of things like testing software updates or maybe setting up a whole separate environment for development all without risking your main data it's super handy so zfs is sounding pretty powerful so far 
but it's not always the right tool for the job, right? right. When would you actually choose LVM over ZFS? Definitely. It all comes down to what you need it for. If your needs are simple, like if you've got a small home server or you're just managing storage for a few virtual machines, LVM is great. Simple to set up, easy to manage, doesn't need a ton of power. So LVM's like what, the trusty old pickup truck of the storage world gets the job done without any fuss. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, but sometimes you need something a bit more, you know, heavy duty. That's where ZFS comes in. So when does ZFS really come into its own? When you're dealing with data you absolutely cannot afford to lose. Mission critical stuff, big databases, massive file servers, really important backups, that kind of thing. When data loss just isn't an option, that's when you break out ZFS with all its bells and whistles. The Fort Knox of storage. I like it. Yeah. But with all that power, isn't it a lot harder to actually use? There's definitely a learning curve, yeah. It's a more complex system for sure, and the command line interface can be a bit intimidating at first. I can imagine. But there are a ton of resources out there, and once you get over that initial hump, it's not too bad. So a bit of an investment up front, but worth it for that extra security and peace of mind. Now let's talk licensing and support. That can be a big deal for a lot of people. Absolutely, yeah. So LVM... That's part of the Linux kernel, which means it's open source, completely free to use, which is awesome. ZFS is a bit more complicated. The core technology, that's open source under the OpenZFS umbrella. But when you're talking about including it in Linux distributions and especially commercial support, it can get a bit murky. So do your research, especially if you're working in a corporate environment with strict rules about software. Exactly. But even with all that, the features that ZFS offers, that data integrity, it can be hard to beat, especially if you've got the resources and the knowledge to really utilize it. So we've really gone in depth on LVM and ZFS today, learned a lot, flexible storage, self-healing data. Those are some powerful tools. But at the end of the day, which one should you actually use? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And like most things in tech, there's no one size fits all answer. The gears. So how do you even begin to choose? It all boils down to what you need from your storage, right? What are your priorities? Okay, so let's say you're after something simple and straightforward, maybe for a home server or some basic virtual machines. Huh. LVM seems like a good fit there, right? Definitely. Especially if you're working with limited resources, LVM is a solid choice. Easy to use, doesn't need a ton of horsepower to run well. But when data loss is absolutely not an option, when you need that Fort Knox security, that's got to be ZFS territory. 100%. Big databases, critical backups, anything where that extra level of data integrity is non-negotiable, that's where ZFS really shines. So it's all about finding the right tool for the job. Exactly. And the good news is your needs might change over time, yeah. and that's okay. You can always migrate to a different solution down the line if you need to. It's good to know you're not locked in. Well, hopefully this deep dive has given you a solid understanding of LVM and ZFS, enough to make an informed decision for your own storage needs. And, hey, maybe someday we'll have the best of both worlds, right? The flexibility of LVM combined with the rock-solid data integrity of ZFS. That'd be something. One can dream. But even with what we have now, there are some really powerful options out there. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into the world of LVM and ZFS. We hope you learned a lot and feel ready to tackle your next storage challenge. Until next time, keep those hard drives spinning.